Good morning. Welcome to the YouTube online service. Hope all of you are fine and enjoyed the Halloween weekend. <clears throat> Even though this year we were not able to enjoy Halloween like years before. I hope that you still enjoy the time you spend with your family. And even more so this year, if you <clears throat> enjoyed your weekend by yourself, it's completely okay. Now you are able to understand the people who are in a similar situation and able to have empathy for others. And if you may be lonesome at times, <clears throat> at times it's okay. It's a good decision keeping distance from other people. Let's be a little more patient until everything comes back to normal. I'd like to quote the beginning of Shoshinge Shinran Shonin's words at this time. きみょ、無料、授業来。なも、不可思議こう。放蔵菩薩因人寺、在世寺在大仏所。土建諸仏浄土因、国土因伝、自然幕。根流無常、主将岩、長仏経悟、大愚税。the translation is I take refuge in the Tathagata of immeasurable life. I entrust myself to the Buddha of inconceivable light. Bodhisattva Dhamma Kara in his causal stage under the guidance of Lokesu Baralaja Buddha searched into the origins of the Buddha's pure lands and the qualities of those lands and their human beings' endeavors. He then established the supreme incomparable vow. He made the great vow rare and all-encompassing." Shinran Shonin emphasized this in his poem, Shoshinge. Jodo Shinshu, or Shinran Shonin's understanding is, amid the Buddha observed my spiritual life and vowed 48 kinds of promise. For example, the first vow of 48 was <clears throat> if when I attain Buddhahood, there should be hell, Jigoku, the realm of hungry spirit, Gaki, or the realm of animals, Chikusho, in my land, may I not attain the perfect enlightenment. What hell is, according to Master Genshin's book, the realm of hell is hurting each other and suffer together. Don't you have an argument or fighting at your home, school, workplace, or community? When you argue or fighting, you are, you are hurting others, and then you might regret, feel sorry, 
or lonesome afterwards. If enlightened one sees you, probably Buddha wish you to be aware that the gaki or hungry spirit is the realm people forget to say thank you or appreciation. Don't you take it for granted everyday life? <clears throat> About last year, December, I started small farming. It takes about five to six weeks to harvest lettuce or other vegetables from the small, small seeds. And not easy to harvest in good condition. Ant, white fly, other bugs, sickness, because I don't want to use chemicals, pesticide, they are so happy to enjoy my vegetable before I harvest. Since then, I really show my appreciation before I eat and try it all, since those vegetables needed almost two months to grow and so much care of farmers. However, sometimes I see people left many food and dump in a rubbish bag without showing their appreciation. I think if Buddha saw that, Buddha wishes those people awaken how grateful we receive such gifts of nature. And the chikusho, or animal, beast, according Master Genshin, they are always judging others and they attack if they judge the weaker one. In our community, there is wars, discrimination, segregate, prejudice, bully. What kind of realm is that? It begins from judging other people, doesn't it? If you judge people, losing respect as individual, you then give some suffering or disgusting you are doing discrimination. If enlightened one look at you, I am sure Buddha wishes you to reach to pure land and get enlightened and then all people respect each other. Don't you think so? I just, I just explained very briefly about those three words. If you want a detail, please go check with your respective ministers. Shinran Shonin introduced Amida Buddha in the Shoshinge, Dhammakara Bodhisattva in his causal stage under the guidance of Lokes Baralaja Buddha searched into the origins of the Buddha's pure lands and the qualities of those lands and their human beings and devas. He then established the supreme incomparable vow he made the great vow rare and all-encompassing. If you listen amid the Buddha's vow one by one, you may reflect your life, which you live with your self-centeredness, greed, anger, and grumble, and always relate to suffering and pain. Shinran Shonin says, listening amid the Buddha's vow is equal Shinjin awakening. Listening, reflect in your life, and then it is called Shinjin awakening. And then Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu, comes from your mouth or voice. This is why in Jodo Shinshu, listening is very important. Well, change story. Recently, one member of my temple sent me a text message. He said, I get fever and hard to breathe, so I can't come to Sunday service. When I read the text, a word of Corona appeared in my thought. I just replied, no problem, rest good and take care of yourself. A few days later, he sent me a text again. I went to check 
COVID-19, the result was negative. However, I still feel tired and fever is still a little high. I'll rest for a while. And what he says, please pray for me. So I reply, oh, it's good you are negative. Keep good resting and I'll do it. After the exchanging texts with him, I thought what he asked me to pray. I know it is commonly used, please pray for me. I sometimes joke too with using the words pray. However, his physical condition was very serious and he struggled with fever and tiredness. I should have asked, what do you want me to pray for? I assume he was asking me to pray for less suffering and fast recovery. If I have such a superpower and I'm able to control such illness, can you imagine all people in Hawaii who are suffering with sickness would come to see me? If I take care of so many people, I guess I'm going to be sick while healing so many people. As you know, I am a very ordinary person, ordinary person, monkutare, grouchy, more than you. Very selfish person. I'm not able to control even my physical and spiritual life. So how can I control other people's nature and sickness by prayer? I am not such a person. I'm not uh, such a super person. I am also a very self-centered person. If such self selfish person gets superpower and is able to control nature, illness, and the world, I am sure I'll misuse the power for wrong way. A few days ago, while I was warning such, he sent me text message. It says, I'm getting much better now, so I will come back to temple activities soon. I told myself, Ayokatta, ah, it's good. I really feel relief by his text. As I reflect upon and have concerns through this incident, there are two ways people think about religion. Number one, you, people, ask gods or Buddha to listen to your favor. Number two, you, people, listen to what gods or Buddha is asking you. Regarding number one, it is very popular, such as pray for me. When you start business, gamble at Las Vegas, get sick, struggle with big trouble, Naturally, you ask superpower to resolve the problem as you wish. However, most of the time, your wish comes up from your selfishness. My religion, which I learned from Shinran Shonin's book, is listen to Amida Buddha's wish and reflect upon myself as I realize it through looking at mirror. It is number two religion. I want to ask you, please continue to listen to Amida Buddha's vow, reflect in your life, and please say Nembuts. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you for keep watching me. I wish you, every one of you, take care of yourself and stay safe. And let's look forward to have happy, happy, Thanksgiving Day, peacefully together with your family and friends. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Naman Dabu, Naman Dabu, Naman Dabu, Naman Dabu, Naman Dabu.